What about the guys that end up staying? I mean, Ross Barkley surprises me he has the picking and choosing whether he'll stay at Everton or go to Chelsea. I mean, what's the reception going to be like for him, for Virgil van Dijk at Southampton, for Coutinho at Liverpool, for Sanchez at Arsenal? I think those, those people aren't, aren't going to be that bothered about it. People know now that, that it's a deal that needs component parts, and those component parts just didn't come together. Previously, um, players like Basong, for instance, yeah. were... Uh, three or four transfer windows ago, maybe a little bit longer now, actually was in his car going to his new club, said goodbye to his teammates, said goodbye to the manager, picked up his kit, was on his way when the other part of the deal fell through and had to literally turn his car around and go back and say, hi guys, yeah. again. Yeah. You can take back the carriage yeah. cross, yeah, cross right, the, yeah. <laughs> the nice flowers. John, where do you stand on transfer business being done as the season is underway? Do you think that, you know, a curtain should fall pre-season? No, I think your mate Sir Alex Ferguson summed it up really, really well. You know, you, it, it's very difficult because the major clubs have got so much more money. Financial fair play, which is a long story, we won't go into it particularly here, but plays for the bigger clubs. So they've got bigger turnover so they can spend more money, mm -hmm. which means that they can look at the lower clubs and if they're short of a left back or there's... There's always been a paucity of left backs in English football. So they could look around and say, well, there's four or five out there. We'll take two or three of them now. Mm -hmm. And the season started and all the pre-season stuff gets thrown out the window. So it should finish the trading window, really. I know it's difficult because there are different timings throughout Europe in the, in, in the trading window. If we opened it in May and closed it on the 1st of August, it would probably uniform it and allow the small clubs to have a level playing field. And you, I mean, you've done many last-minute, or should I say last-second yes. deals. Yes. I mean, why do you leave it so late? Is that part of the thrill and the adrenaline of doing being an agent? OK, the component parts, I'd love to explain this in more detail, I know we haven't got a lot of time. The component parts are, 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 are actually quite many. Is that good grammar? It, it, it'll do anyway. Um, and, and, and as such, trying to fit it all together is a bit, becomes a bit of a poker game. When the transfer window is 24 hours away or 36 hours away or 48 hours away, it tends to focus your attention. <laughs> yeah. So you I tend to get them. those deals done quickly. We, did, we had one um, a few years ago, Andre Arshavin. We had four seconds left on the clock but. when we finished it. And if it hadn't gone through, what would you have lost? Um, personally, a nice little seven-figure sum. Wow. So four, four seconds between four seconds you be and... Be between, between me and, um, and being able to afford to pay food for the dog again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bit more than that. That was a very posh dog. And when you look and people talk about the prices involved, you look at some players and you think... I mean, I was saying Lukaku seems quite moderately priced now at £75 million. I think Man United did good business, actually. Yeah. I, funnily enough, I think one of the best deals of the window was Wayne Rooney. Yeah, wouldn't Free, disagree no one's with you. Mentioned. Good for him, yeah. good, for yeah. Everton, good for Everton, good for United. I think a really good... And nobody paid any money for anything. Is there any price that's too much? Um, well, that your house is worth what someone's going to pay for it. So, uh, arguably, would I say Neymar is worth 200 million? No. Someone thought they were. I, I don't like that whole financial fair play issue. I think, I think they've, they've got the numbers wrong, and I think that it's a very high number. If they think he's worth it, then good luck to him. Personally, so, I would rather have Lukaku. John, you mentioned houses there. Um, is it more difficult? We all know how fraught it is to buy a house, close a deadline on a Friday afternoon or whatever with that. Is it even worse buying a football player or is it equivalent to... Well, the thing is, Eamon, houses house? don't argue back. <laughs> 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 Whereas footballers... And footballers come with a team now as well. So you've got yeah. lawyers, accountants, agents, but the agent for the selling club, the agent for the buying club, the agent for the player. You have to sort of silo these people in a deal and then try and knit the pieces together. So it, it, that's why these things take so long. Uh, if you were one Premier League manager, who do you think would be most happy about the business they have done for their club? I think Everton did well. I think Swansea did well. I, I thought think Liverpool West did Brom well. Did well. I think Liverpool did well. The smiling man, Mr Klopp, I think mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to see him smile. He's got mm -hmm. a nice smile, isn't he? Uh, and uh, sadly, my, my mate Arsene Wenger, I, I, I don't think Arsenal did very well at all, no. You know, so Arsenal did well, Spurs, Chelsea, the Chelsea, London clubs. Chelsea was... Chelsea made it up a little bit. I tell you who always does well, somehow he pulls it out of the fire at the end, it's Daniel Levy at, at Spurs. Three days ago, everyone was saying, oh, I don't know about that. He hasn't done any business. Why? Mm -hmm. And he's, by, he's building a stadium, which is one of the reasons why. Mm -hmm. And then in the end, he came, came through, like that little horse at the end of the, <laughs> the, the, back, the back of the, the pack of the fence and comes through. He did very well, I think. Well, as an agent, would you want to be negotiating with him? I have done, and um, we've argued with... The, I argued with him. We were um, £50,000 apart on the last deal that we did, 
And we argued and argued and argued, and eventually he said, look, OK, but I want you to buy a box. <laughs> and that came to £49,000. Very good, which he did, very are. good. <laughs> John, great talking to you. Thanks Thank you. very much indeed, and a good season so far. Very Maybe good. John should join David Davis in... Brussels, do you think? In the negotiations. Yeah. I'd love to yeah. do Big that. money no, negotiations. <laughs> me, me and Mr. Barnier would absolutely <laughs> yeah. sort everything out. Lovely, lovely.